What is up, fellow human beings? And today we are going to be making homemade stickers. You'll need a couple things first to make them. For one thing, parchment paper or baking paper, whatever you want to call it. You can also use wax paper, but I suggest pre-cut parchment paper. Next, you also need tape. You can use packaging tape or scotch tape. I recommend packaging tape because it's bigger. If you use scotch tape, it'll still work well. It'll just take a little bit longer. You also need to draw or print something out. I drew these, but you can always feel free to print something out. And, uh, talking. Let's dive into this. Just kidding, I have more talking. This is what your finished project will look like when you're done. Okay, now let's dive in. So, lay all your printables, or your drawings, out on the piece of tape. Sorry, mine are a little bit crinkled. They've been handled. And just like that. Make sure they're an even space away from each other. And that step will come later, I'll tell you that later. Okay, now what you gotta do is take your tape. So, prefer preferably as long as your other one was. Oh, mine's a little bit short. Well, I'll worry about it later. And mine's a little bit short. Well, I'll worry about it later. And lay it down just like that. Sigma. Yeah, lay it down firm. Try to get all of the wrinkles out of the tape. I did a bad job at that, so do not copy me. And I'm going to do this one real quick. Free to pause the video and get all the wrinkles out of your tape. Just like what I'm about to do. Now I'm getting all the wrinkles out. This should be the finished project. Now we have got all our wrinkles out too. It's okay if you didn't get all of them out. We just got most of them out. Now, here's a step I forgot earlier. You also need scissors. And you gotta take your scissors and cut the tape out just like this. Once you're done cutting your tape out, Feel free to throw away the excess parchment paper, or you can keep it to make more stickers later. Now we are going to bubble cut around our drawings. Do not cut them too close, just bubble cut. You can even cut them into little rectangles, and we'll cut them on thinner later. Now we are going to cut more precisely around the shape. So, I've already cut a little bit of the circle, right here, and we are just going to cut more precisely. Feel free to pause the video again to finish yours. I, right now, I'm just going to do one, but you guys can do more if you want to. Now, you have made stickers. This should be your finished project, right here. And... You have made stickers, and to, you know, stick them on things, all you have to do is pull the back off. That's how yours turned out, and, or if you like my drawings, in the video. So, at the end, you've made stickers, and you have to peel off the backs just like that. Then you can stick it on anything, a water bottle, or even a laptop. Free to subscribe, like, or comment to support the channel.